Hi, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have a card featuring these adorable popsicles from the Best Pun Ever stamp set, and I've paired them with some of the small stitched rectangle frames, as well as the Thought Bubble from the A Birdie Told Me stamp set. To start, I'm going to die cut my card stock to create the frame to frame up my popsicles. I'm using cement and then green apple cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. And to create the frame, I'm going to take the largest, the two largest frames from the Lawn Fawn stitched, small stitched rectangles die collection and die cut them at the same time there to create that outer frame for my card. Then I'm going to take the green apple cardstock and I'm going to use the smaller of the two rectangles and die cut the green cardstock. This is going to end up being the inside panel for the card. Gives it a nice little contrast. I'm going to go ahead and set my die, cut, die cutting machine aside and then take some smooth white cardstock and stamp the popsicles from the Best Pun Ever stamp set on, on here using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is a great ink to use if you're wanting to do some Copic coloring. I'm going to be coloring in my popsicles using Copic markers. Before I do that, there are four different face designs from the Best Pun Ever stamp set, and I am going to add cute little faces to some of the popsicles. And I've also stamped more popsicles than I actually need. A lot of times I like to do this, that way if I mess up coloring, I automatically have another popsicle that I can color, and I don't have to go back and get that stamp and stamp it again. Once I have the faces all on there, if some of them didn't stamp or didn't ink up very well, they're a pretty small little stamp, I am taking a Copic multi-liner and just tracing over those images to darken up any lines that maybe didn't get as dark as I wanted them. Because I'm using a Copic Multi-Liner, this will not um, bleed once I use the Copic markers as well, like maybe a different kind of black marker might. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Copic markers and start coloring in the popsicles. I am using about three colors per popsicle having them be more light at the top and then darker near the bottom. Some of them I use two different colors and just blended and blended to get them to look more seamless, kind of like I am doing here with the yellows and the oranges. Others I used all the same colors in one color family and just kind of went lightest to darkest. It just depended on, on the individual popsicle or the color that I wanted to create. I did take a little R20 for the cheeks on the lighter popsicles, and then I used R24 or R22 for any of the darker popsicles. Like R20 wouldn't show up on this red popsicle here, so I instead used, I think maybe even R46 for the cheeks. And just to give them a little definition of pink cheeks. Here is another example of blending two different colors together. I'm using some kind of limey greens with an aqua to blend out this popsicle. And I went over it as many times as I needed to to get that seamless looking result. This popsicle matches the frame and the inside piece of the card really well. Go ahead and color in my fourth one here. This is a really nice uh, kind of purplish magenta colored popsicle. I Once it was all colored in, I really thought it kind of even gave a nice little grape-like looking popsicle. Again, this is one where the cheeks will definitely not show up, so I used R24 to make some cheeks, or it wouldn't show up if I used R20, pardon me. So I used R24 and then blended it out with my lightest pinky purple there my red violet. Instead of making this popsicle all red or all orange, I combined oranges and reds just to give it a little bit different look than the other red popsicle. And then I'm coloring in the sticks to make them look like those little wooden sticks. Now on the completed card there is another small popsicle in the yellows and oranges. This is because after I had colored all of these in and die cut them, I realized I kind of thought I needed one more to fill in the whole border. 
Once all of those are colored in, I'm going to go ahead and grab the coordinating dies from the best pun ever, snip those apart, and then tape them over the images using a little post-it tape and run them through the Big Shot die cutting machine to die cut each of these. Go ahead and pop out a couple of those. That's what they're going to look like. And then I will continue to do that for the rest of the popsicles. Now I originally, you probably saw I had a thought bubble in a cardstock color and I just, it wasn't going with the card the way I wanted it to look. So I grabbed the black licorice cardstock and that long thought bubble from a Birdie Told Me stamp set and stamped it with the black licorice ink on white cardstock. And then I'm taking the individual words from Best Pun Ever and stamping them with some coordinating inks. I ended up changing this one out just a little bit because the ink I used for the word the is really too light. It was hard to read. And so the only thing different is I used the Sunflower Lawn Fawn ink instead of that mint ink. So I used the Mermaid, Freshly Cut Grass, and Sunflower inks. And then I die cut that thought bubble using the coordinating A Birdie Told Me die. I'm going to be tucking that under that top border or top border of the frame so that it just peeks out. Now to make the background more interesting, I am taking one of the sharp backdrops border stamps and I am going to be stamping that on that green background using the Lawn Fawn Freshly Cut Grass ink. A lot of times I like to go at a diagonal when I'm doing a background like this. I find it's a little bit easier for me to line it up perfectly or at least good enough. And I'm going to stamp this all the way across the rectangle to give it a nice subtle tone on tone pattern. And I think it, the difference is really visible once you see the finished card and see how those popsicles look sitting on top of it. I'm going to add some sparkle and shine to my popsicles using the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pin. In real life, this gives them some really nice, subtle sparkle. Really, really cute. Just color them all over using this pin. Then I'm going to take the Sakura Black Glaze Pin and add some definition to the eyes. I always like to do this when I'm using doing or stamping critters or anything like that, I think it really makes the eyes pop. And then I'll take the white gel pen from Sakura, or gl white glaze pen, and add some dots on all of the cheeks. I'm going to just add a little trio of dots on each of the cheeks for all six of these popsicles. And I love how that looks and kind of finishes off the whole look. Once I have that done, I am ready to put everything together. I have already got a white card base. This is an A2 sized card, landscape format. I'm going to add some adhesive to the top of that thought bubble and place it underneath the top edge of the frame. And then I will go ahead and attach not only the frame, but all the other elements to the card. I am going to stamp the hearts from Best Pun Ever and a Birdie Told Me stamp sets. Color those in and die cut those. I'm just using the same colors of markers I used for the different popsicles to color in my hearts. And this is going to finish off the look of the whole card. So I've attached the rectangles and the frame and the popsicles to the card. The frame and the popsicles are attached with foam adhesive. I add a little liquid glue to attach the hearts and this card is all finished. Thanks for watching this video showcasing Lawn Fawn stamps and dies for a cool card. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.